News for South Mississippi. WLOX News Now starts with breaking news. An intense standoff in Jackson County. The situation shutting down part of I-10. Law enforcement with guns drawn surrounding an 18-wheeler. The driver locked inside. The situation unfolding for hours now. We have team coverage of this developing tense situation. Now, this all happening between Highway 57 and Gauthier Van Cleve Road exits in Jackson County. Let's go straight to Mike Lacey, who is on the scene. Mike, we're hearing the suspect isn't cooperating with negotiators. What are you hearing? Rhonda, that's exactly right. From about an hour ago, we were told, or at least I heard over the intercom here with the Highway Patrol and the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, that uh, the the suspect has stopped talking to the negotiators, and those negotiators with the Jackson County Sheriff's Department. So, as you had said, there there are law enforcement all over the place. You can't really see uh, very much behind me right now because it's about a half a mile away from where we are. The law enforcement was kind enough to let us get this close. Nobody else is getting any closer to the to the scene. In fact, I, like I said, it's about a half a mile away, and uh, we're standing sort of behind the Jackson County Sheriff's Department unit because, as the, uh, the deputy said, just in case bullets starts flying, we can duck out of the way. So w what we understand is that the driver of the truck right now and it's the the trucks insignia on the front is ptl i don't know what that means but that's as about as much as we can on the description uh if you could see the b-roll that we've got it's a orange truck that is pulled over to the side on the uh the the side of the highway where it is being surrounded by SWAT team members and negotiators. Um, now, this is just past the Gaucher Van Cleve exit. Uh, that's exit 60. They've stopped traffic com from coming about where 57 is and where Gaucher Van Cleve Road is. And now those cars that were already here, they're backing them away. So now I 10 really in this area is almost completely clear. We'll have more later on on WLOX news and wlox.com reporting live right here on highway uh, i-10 in jackson county mike lacy wlox news now and as officers work the standoff situation traffic on both sides of the interstate now being diverted but many drivers are still stuck on i-10 desiree duncan is live with more on the traffic headaches well, Rhonda, this has certainly been a traffic nightmare for anyone who is traveling on I-10 here in Jackson County or planning to travel on I-10 here in Jackson County. It has been, uh, like you have said, shut down westbound and eastbound. Uh, as you can see behind me, these westbound and eastbound lanes, you won't see any cars, at least from this vantage point. Where I am standing is the on near the on-ramps near Gauthier and Van Cleef Road. And like I said, there are no cars there from this vantage point. I witnessed semis using the on-ramp to back up and be able to um, head back that way so that they're no longer stuck on the interstate. And I'll sh swing you over to over here and you'll see the deputies are Troopers are also on the scene here. They are keeping people from getting onto these on ramps because this is blocked off from this place. And also people are being detoured um, behind me here on fifth off of the Gaucher Van Cleve Road exit and being detoured before they reach I-10. So certainly a dangerous, volatile situation that law enforcement keeping traffic away from. Um, and of course, uh, could be several more hours till it reopens. Live in Jackson County, Desiree Duncan, WLOX News Now. Now, much of that traffic is now flowing onto Highway 90 during the lunchtime rush. Bill Snyder picks up our team coverage from Highway 90 in Ocean Springs. Hey, good morning, Rhonda. At Highway 90 and Highway 57, actually, I'm a little bit north of the intersection. You see behind me, we're looking north. That's all the traffic coming off of I-10 down Highway 57. And you see a lot of 18-wheelers, a lot of other cars. But so far, from what I could tell, it's moved pretty smoothly. This intersection here is used to dealing with a lot of traffic, usually from folks going down Highway 90, heading out to Ingalls to go to work. So as you can see, it's starting to flow here and we'll turn the camera around and you can see the intersection behind me. It's actually been flowing pretty good. I'll step out of the way and let you take a look. Coming north as folks 
come down Highway 90 West and head back towards the interstate. We've seen a lot of rigs and 18 wheelers, but we haven't seen as much traffic. So if there's a silver lining in any of this, it's not the traffic isn't out of control heavy. And once folks get on Highway 90, heading towards Pascagoula and Goche, there it picks up, and we may take a look at that a little bit later. But for right now, in Fountain Blue, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. We are, of course, staying on top of this breaking news story, developing news, so look for updates on WLOX.com. Okay, hey, everybody, uh, this is Mike Lacey on the Facebook Live. I just wanted to give you another update as to what is going on. Basically, there was a driver of an 18-wheeler who started fleeing from law enforcement somewhere in Alabama. We don't know why at this point, but law enforcement put out spike strips along Interstate 10. That stopped the vehicle here in Jackson County that is just west of the Gaucher Van Cleve Road, exit 60 or mile marker 60. And it was immediately surrounded by highway patrol as well as Jackson County Sheriff's deputies. The Jackson County Sheriff's Department is in charge of doing the negotiations around 10 o'clock. This all happened a little earlier, more like around 9 o'clock, maybe before that. Around 10 o'clock, we were told that the truck driver stopped talking with negotiators. About five minutes ago, the door of the truck, if you can see it here, the door of the truck came open and what looked like tear gas. It was uh, smoke that was pouring out of the cab of the truck. It looks like they have him in custody. We've got ambulance and law enforcement going all the way down to the area where this has been unfolding. But it looks like he is in custody at this mo moment. So this looks like he has, at least at this point, ended in a safe situation. This is WLOX News Now at 6. Your news starts right now. The dramatic chase turned standoff that partially shut down I-10 for hours. Stunning new video showing the 18-wheeler driven by an armed truck driver running an ambulance and then a truck off the road. Good evening, I'm Allison Spann. Now straight to that dramatic situation that backed up traffic on the interstate led to a five hour standoff and ended with the arrest of an armed truck driver. Hugh Keaton and Mike Lacey have both been following the story and are live now in Jackson County. Hugh, help us to understand what exactly happened out there today. Well, right now, traffic is moving along with no trouble on the interstate, but it is a much different scene than how it was earlier today here on the interstate in Jackson County. As it started with the police pursuit of an 18-wheeler in Alabama, then crossed into the state of Mississippi. We've received a lot of viewer videos today from people who were on the interstate during the time of this chase and standoff. Let's take a look at a few of those video viewers right now starting with really a dramatic one that captures why this was such a dangerous situation. That 18-wheeler just uh, over the state line before it crossed into Mississippi. An ambulance has to move off the road. Then another truck has to move out of the way of the 18-wheeler. So that kind of puts it, gives you a good picture of the situation as it was unfolding. That 18-wheeler did not come to a stop until right back here where I'm standing now, just east of the van and Cleve Gaucher exit, and that's when the standoff started. This is a viewer photo sent to us just moments after the standoff was starting as the truck driver would not come out of the truck, and police believed he had a weapon inside a machete. And it was not until just before 2 o'clock before he finally came out. That driver is now facing charges tonight. Mike Lacey was on the scene here just shortly after the standoff started to unfold, and Mike how did it all unfold once the standoff got going and what kind of charges is that driver facing tonight? Well, Hugh, this started as road rage in Alabama. And they, in fact, there were several cars that were in accidents as a result of it, but no one was injured. It eventually, as you had mentioned, came over into Mississippi, the Mississippi Highway Patrol, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, and multiple other agencies were involved. And they eventually, 
as you mentioned, they eventually got him to stop just east of the Gaucher Van Cleve Road that was about mile 60. Now, as we had moved over and started to witness what was going on, uh, we we realized that he did not give up very easily. As we mentioned, five hours of standoff, multiple t tear gas uh, applications. Finally, he eventually made himself out. Now, he is being charged with a one count. This is Michael Troy Mack, 33 of Baton Rouge. He's being charged with one count of felony evasion. That was just with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. There should be more uh, more charges being filed against multi uh, by multiple agencies. Uh, like I said, he did not give up five hours of negotiations by phone by the Jackson County Sheriff's Office and tear gas. Finally, he gave himself up. Authorities say that he was dangerous because he had a weapon. Uh, we knew that he had a, a, a machete because when he got into his vehicle after he was first contacted by law enforcement, it was seen. Uh, he never threatened us with it or, or you know, caused to do harm to, to himself or us with that. And no injuries are a result of all of this, and that's really fortunate. In fact, police describe this as the best case scenario for an ending. They were very patient. It is something that they say they trained for. Thank you, Mike. And that is the scene right now. We're thankful the traffic is moving along in the interstate tonight. Reporting live in Jackson County, Hugh Keaton, WLOX News Now. That's just shocking video to see that. Thank you so much, Hugh and Mike. As you can see here, traffic was bumper to bumper on the interstate and also on Highway 90 in Jackson County after drivers were detoured from I-10. Taryn Reed joins us live tonight in Jackson County. Taryn, thousands were impacted from this detour. They most certainly were. Those drivers forced to reroute or detour somewhere. If you were one of the lucky ones to actually get out of I-10 when this happened, they were rerouted off the Franklin Street exit if you were that far down onto Highway 90. So those thousands of drivers drove from Highway 90 through Pascagoula, Gaucher, Ocean Springs, all attempting to get back on I-10 after this incident to try to pass it up and get back on the interstate. Well, as you said, and I've said, thousands of drivers, so that means bumper to bumper traffic. Traffic moving smoothly on Interstate 10 tonight, but it was a much different scene earlier. A tense day for travelers and law enforcement in Jackson County after a police pursuit turned into a five hour standoff with an armed truck driver. An 18 wheeler racing across the state line, forcing other vehicles out of the way, creating a police pursuit. A bunch of cop police cars like there are now, and a bunch of them been passing on the edge of the road. The truck stopped east of the Highway 57 exit just before 9 a.m. The driver wouldn't come out of the truck, and authorities had reason to take precaution. We knew that he had a, a, a machete because when he got into his vehicle after he was first contacted by law enforcement, it was seen. With law enforcement totally surrounding the truck, officers negotiated over the phone with the driver. I've never seen anything like that before. The standoff forced the interstate to be shut down in both directions. While drivers were stuck in their vehicles, Highway Patrolman Chase Elkins says officers followed procedures, resulting in the best possible outcome. After five hours of negotiating with the driver, he finally surrendered without injury. The driver, Michael Troy Mack from Baton Rouge, was taken into custody and charged with felony pursuit in Jackson County. Although the standoff produced a much longer trip than expected for motorists on I-10, like Tammy Ragsdale, she's thankful no one was hurt. It was just really amazing to watch the law enforcement, um, how they all stepped up to the plate and everybody knew what they were doing. Now officials say the chase leading to the standoff all started with a road rage incident. The driver could still face additional charges.